Hi everybody, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. Today I'm gonna to be talking about some of the most colorful and surprisingly difficult puzzles I've done lately. These are the Karnofsky puzzles published by the company Ginger Fox and this video is actually sponsored by them. So I wanna say a huge thank you to them for supporting my channel and I really hope you guys will all check them out because I like genuinely loved these. I was so impressed. So obviously I do a lot of puzzles and I'm always looking for new innovations in jigsaw puzzles, you know, something new, something different. And these puzzles are actually four puzzles in one. That's because they come with three different colored glasses. And when you put on each pair of glasses, the images are layered in a way where with each color, you see a totally different image. How cool do I look right now with these glasses on? the epitome of coolness. That's definitely what a cool person would say. <laughs> so I'll admit I was a little skeptical going into it, but it really works. Um, the glasses fit totally fine over normal glasses, and it also comes with an app, so if you lose or break the glasses, you can look at the different colors on your phone. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Um, let's take a closer look at the puzzles. There are actually three different ones that they're coming out with. Uh, this one is called Ocean, and this is the one that I'm gonna be doing on camera. There is also uh, Jungle, and there's also Animals, and this is the one that I did ahead of time just to like get the sense of what these puzzles were like, and I loved this one. I had so much fun with it. So let's take a closer look and I'll demonstrate the glasses and everything you need to know to do this puzzle. So here we are, here's the box. You can see that they had a lot of information to include, but it's all well designed and it doesn't feel overwhelming. These are 500 piece square puzzles, which measure 50 by 50 centimeters, which is about 19 and a half inches. On the back, they show the entire artwork as well as what it looks like in each color and a lot of info about the puzzles and the artists. And if you're wondering why it's called Karnovsky, that is the name of the artist duo who make these pieces. So the box is sealed with two clear stickers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open it up. Right on top, you can see a beautiful high quality print of the full image. I love that you get this because this is legit artwork that has been exhibited all around the world. So this is like an extra bonus item that you could frame after finishing the puzzle. Next are the glasses, which I'll talk about more in a minute. And then the pieces come in a paper bag, which I love because it's way more environmentally friendly than plastic and it's high quality enough that you can keep it and put the pieces back into it when you're finished. Okay, so here are the glasses. They are made of cardboard with colored plastic lenses. And here you can see what a puzzle piece looks like when you look at it through the glasses. You can see that the red gets filtered out so you can see the blue lines way more clearly. Here is what it looks like in the app, which is cool to look at, but I actually found the glasses to be way more useful when actually putting it together. So let's talk about the pieces. They're a matte finish. You can see that there's basically no shine on them at all. The cardboard is a good thickness and they feel high quality. And they have all of these standard piece shapes with nothing funky going on. But if you've watched a lot of my videos, you might notice that these piece shapes look familiar, and that's because it's made by the same manufacturer that does the area wear puzzles and the penguin puzzles, both of which I've talked about on this channel. I think the quality of those is great, so if you've done either of those, this one is about the same. So here is my strategy going into it. First, I'm going to pull out the edges like usual, but I'm also going to pull out all of these octopus tentacles because that is a large distinctive pattern, so those pieces should be easy to spot. Ah! 
After all of the sorting, I did the edge without wearing any of the glasses because the colors are distinct enough that the edge went together pretty easily. So I just finished the edge of the puzzle. It was pretty easy, but let me show you what the plan is for the inside of the puzzle. So one way to do this puzzle is to not use the glasses and to just look at all these different colors and try to put the puzzle together. But I tried that with the one that I did off camera and it was so difficult. I like couldn't even see what I was looking at and you know, figure out where it went on here because it's just so many overlapping colors and textures. I did pull out all of these like tentacles. So um, that's kind of a large area of the puzzle. So I think I want to start somewhere smaller just to like get my bearings before I tackle all of this. But those pieces are here, so they're ready when I want them. So I'm holding the glasses up to the phone camera right now. And you can see that with the red, um, for this particular image, a lot of the textures are kind of the same, you know, it's just a whole lot of fish, which is fine, but it might be a little difficult. So let's look at the green. There we go. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. That's going to be a lot easier because you can see that with the green pulling out the image, we have the tentacles, which is a very specific pattern. We also have this little seahorse guy. We have this peach looking thing. I don't know what the actual name is, but those both have very specific textures. This one down here is kind of a darker color than everything else. So I actually think the green might be the easiest place to start for this particular puzzle. And just so that you can see, here is what the blue is going to look like. Um, I'll be totally honest, the blue glasses are a lot darker than the red and the green. So I find they don't work quite as well. It would be much, much more of a challenge. So I think I'm just going to leave those to the side for now. So when I got started on the inside, I put on the green glasses and started working on it. It's definitely a different experience wearing colored glasses to do a puzzle but I love trying something different and I think this is so fun. Looking at the footage, it's very like old school futuristic, like I'm an extra on Star Trek or something. I think if someone just randomly walked in on you doing a puzzle like this, they might have some questions. So I just worked on the puzzle for a while and now this is the most fun part is taking off the glasses and looking at my progress because right now everything I'm seeing is bright green so I kind of want to see it in all of its colors. All right, here we go, here we go. Oh my god, now everything is so purple because I've been seeing everything is green for the last half hour. So here's where I'm at. And let me show you it through the glasses so that you can see what I've been seeing. So here's what I've been seeing. Um, obviously from the main camera, you've been seeing something completely different. Yeah, it's so crazy to look at it and just see all of these like colors and textures that I can't even see when I'm wearing the glasses. So looking at this footage is so weird because you're seeing something completely different from what I was seeing when I was doing it. You'll probably see me trying pieces in spots where they obviously don't go, but with the view that I had, it could have been a possibility. And that's what I think is the best part of this puzzle. It really is four puzzles in one because each different color is a totally different image. All right, so it's been about another hour. As you can see, I am still green. So it's basically like I've gone to Oz, but all that's there is a jigsaw puzzle, which actually sounds great. Um, anyway, let me give you a little update on how I'm doing. I've had the glasses on for even longer now, so everything is gonna be... Oh my God, literally everything is magenta. This is so weird. So here is what you've been seeing, you know, on the main cameras, but here, is what I've been seeing. Check that out. So I finished this entire side. I finished this little squid guy 
And yeah, I think I'm making good progress. I kind of started working on the octopus and then got like a little overwhelmed. So I decided to, to not. <laughs> but yeah, looking at it like this, it's like an entirely different picture from what I've been seeing. This is so crazy. I could do it again and it would be as if I was doing a brand new puzzle. So I think you could get so many fun challenges out of this puzzle. You and a friend could each wear different colored glasses and work on different parts of the puzzle. You could challenge yourself to swap out the glasses for a new color every, I don't know, half hour. Or you could just swap the glasses if you get stuck on a section and you want to look at it with fresh eyes. As I said earlier, the blue glasses are definitely the darkest. So you'll need really good light if you're gonna be using those and it definitely ups the difficulty by far. So here's where we're at. Um, let me show you what I've been seeing. <laughs> Here it is. You can see that I finished this crab down here and all that I've left are the octopus tentacles, which if you remember are the first things I pulled out and then realized that that part was going to be really hard. So I don't know. I'm looking at it now. I'm like, should I just try to go for it without the glasses and just try to use all of the colors or should I stick with the glasses and do the whole thing uh, as green? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> this is uh, a real problem in the world, you know. So I did end up using the green glasses to finish it up and I had so much fun with this. It ended up taking me two hours and 15 minutes in total, which is on the higher side for a 500 piece puzzle. But since there are four different pictures, you essentially get four puzzles in one. So I always like to talk about the amount of puzzling time that you get for your money. And with this one, you get a lot of puzzling time for your money. All right, I just finished it. I'm gonna take off the glasses and look at the final thing for the first time. Ooh, oh wow. This is so totally different from what I've been looking at for the last like three hours. So I'm gonna go have lunch because I've been working on this all morning. I'm very hungry and then I'll be back to tell you all of my final thoughts. I love that this is a high difficulty but still doable jigsaw puzzle. You know, it's not frustratingly hard, it's just tricky in a really fun way. The only quality issue that I had is that the pieces don't really hold together well, so moving large sections can be tricky, but otherwise it is super high quality, especially for the price. So are you ready to hear the price? It's only going to cost $20. Since it's four puzzles in one, that's basically like paying $5 per puzzle. And keep in mind that you get the artwork print and the glasses as well as the puzzle. So I think that is a really good price. It'll be available on Amazon and in independent stores across the US and the UK. So I'm gonna have all the info down in the description for where you can find these. So before I go, here is a quick look at the animals puzzle, which I did off camera. This one I actually did with the red glasses on for most of it. So you can see how it looks in each color right here. And here is a quick look at the jungle puzzle in all of its colors. This one looks much more dense than the others, so it would probably be even more difficult. So I really hope that you'll check these out and let me know what you think. I wanna say a huge thank you again to Ginger Fox for sponsoring this video. They actually told me, here's a little secret, they're gonna be making these with even higher piece counts next year. So maybe we'll get a thousand piece version. Oh, I can't wait, that would be so hard. So I would love to know if this is the kind of puzzle that you would wanna do and how you would go about doing it. Do you think that you would use the same color glasses all the way through or would you swap them out? 
or would you just try to do it in all of its colors? Let me know in a comment and your code word for the comments so that I know that you watched all the way to the end will be glasses. Happy puzzling. I'll see you all next time.